Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hank. This is episode 95. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hank. That's H Y M P E. It's Hank. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. We don't need to keep introducing you to the audience, but let's do it anyway. New listeners every day. I was about to day, say, B. new <laughs> listeners every day, B. <laughs> this is when you introduce yourself now. You've been oh, here. I thought, I thought you were going to introduce us. No, no, no. <laughs> what up, though, everybody? Um, my name is Tashi. It's your girl, Jess G. And we are the ladies of the What Up Doe podcast. Ping. What up, Doe? Y'all asked for that what song. Up? What up, Doe? <laughs> they want to act brand new and act like they ain't been here a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> episode four. 95. Four or five. Episode, Who's counting? Episode 95. Let's hit the rundown. E Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E Block Radio Network. Tuesdays, 2 o'clock on the GFT Radio Network. Mm. Wednesdays is 216 to blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Thursdays, we go to the WTNUPhilly.com at 1230. Friday is the I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. Saturday is the THC Media at 10 a.m. Ladies, Sunday, we still have not filled Man, in. what the hell, guys? I listened to what an episode, hell? Why I listened to an episode from like a year ago. The Sunday slot in Cali. What I the hell to is an going episode on? Episode from a year ago where I was saying the same thing. Sundays wide open. West Sundays wide open. <laughs> what are we doing here? We people? got too much motion. It's okay because everything always works out for you, and it's gonna come just around perfectly for you. The best. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna hit the West Coast hard, baby. <laughs> now, how to hustle live show? How to hustle live show? March the 12th. Get your tickets now. Hit the link in my bio. Hit the QR code. It's on the tis on the physical tickets if you got one. It's on the posters if you around town and you run into one of those. You got no reason not to be hitting the link and getting them tickets March no the 12th reason. for the How to Hustle Live show. No 4901 reason. Catherine Street at the barn. Doors is at 6. The show will be starting at 7 o'clock whether you are there or not. On now, the dot. Yes, because we've had a few issues with, you know what I'm saying, on nigga time. <laughs> um, how to hustle uh seminars can still be purchased. Just DM me for those situations. Put you on game of how the whole podcast situation works. Uh H2H cleaning is at H2H cleaning only. That is my cleaning company, roof and plumbing, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, uh, carpet and flooring, you name it, we can make it happen. And custom hustle world, custom hustle world, get your custom t-shirts, jerseys, uh, sweatsuits, jackets, however you need it. They are one of one unless you buy four. Now. Episode 95. You didn't say that you operate the tri-state area, but if you make it worth your while, I'll you'll slide. Because I didn't get to the part where I got y'all to say where y'all were from. I had this, you know. I know y'all paid ta- I know my girls is paid talent. <laughs> we just don't want you missing out. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they nah. knew that they could slide for the hustle cleaning services. No, nah, I see. I, I see this is Okay, my check. bad, One, my bad. This y'all show. This y'all show. But no, nah, see... Wow, man, put your feet up and get comfortable now, okay? Y'all are no longer guests here on How to Hustle Podcast. Uh, One, see, I appreciate when you're locked in, you know stuff like that. You know, like, hold up, you didn't hit that one. Mm -hmm. Now, ladies from what up, though? Could y'all let the audience know where y'all are from? Technically, Detroit, Michigan. (laughs) Now, because they are technically in the middle. in In the Lansing section of the city. That's how much I know them. Now, if you need something on the H2H cleaning side of things, if you make it worth my while, I will slide out there and make it happen. Now, Good. ladies, episode 95, How to Hustle Podcast, brand new year. So, you know, we're probably going to have y'all on four, five, seven times this year. Um, Let's start it off right, though. What do we need to know about each other to coexist in relationships? Men and women. We are gonna, yes, men and women. We are going to start with Jess on this one. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Tachi looked to the sky when we brought this up pre-show, but we weren't going to tell everybody about that. Jess, let's go. Well, when you sent the topic, I thought you meant living together, and nothing can comp- can prepare you to live with anybody. <laughs> so right. I can give y'all some suggestions on what you should know, but you're not going to know until you really in that mm-hmm. nigga face every day. 
cleanliness. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, now that we stuck here and it's like, oh, so you're not going nowhere. Like, you ain't going to never get mad and go stay at your mom's three days? Like, do what you, do we need to know to coexist? Do you shower every day? Mm-hmm. Do you brush your teeth every day? Because I do. But there's people out there that don't. Are you going to say Oh uh, yeah, see, I gotta keep the nuts, and, the nuts and nuts. Do you do in between flushes? Things I gotta know. Things nuts key. and breath ain't right in 2023. <laughs> you do in between flushes at home? Yes. See, this is my house. These are things <laughs> things you don't know about a person until you ask. I might but do you can't be flushes. Right, see, things. See, things right here. This is one. Before you know, I let the guests go first, but. We can't be talking about this is my house and this is your house when we living together. As soon as you decide to let oh, that I'm nigga saying this is my house. As she's in. saying this is her house now. As I'm in, not doing I'm it. Not doing okay, that. so what she's letting you know is you're saying you hit the courtesy flush before you go use the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so go, <laughs> back to cohabitating. Cleanliness, hygiene, I need to be in the know. Second, sleep patterns. Mm. Do you sleep? Do you need the TV on to go to sleep? Do you need a light? Do you get up 17 times? Do you snore? Do you snore loud? Are you a wild sleeper? I need to know. Tell me ahead of time. I snore a little bit. Okay, let me go to sleep first. Just saying. What hmm. else? Are you with me? Is you going to empty the clip or is you going to let Todd jump in? Oh, she gotta, uh, I told you, I'm coexisting gotta, currently. So I'm not. It things, sounds like. Jess is shooting, Jess is shooting live rounds at this name. This is what this sounds like to me. No, but sleeping patterns are important, especially if you so, you have someone that y'all work alternate schedules or mm-hmm. just different schedules in general. Some people sleep with the TV on. If you don't sleep with the TV on, that can be a huge thing. And yeah. how are we supposed to sleep in the same room when I sleep this way and you sleep another way? Or if you do up in the bathroom, you sleep. I give you just a sneak peek. Do you me. sleep with your eyes open? My wife. <laughs> now you just oh, wow. say Because who sleep with their eyes open? My cousin. Yeah, he's crazy. Repeat. Your cousin needs to go to the doctor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Slight, go go see slight, about that. It's not closed all the way. I don't like that. So this is what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to send him this episode telling him we only accept five stars and then book yourself a doctor's appointment ASAP because right. you need to get that looked at. It's nothing wrong with them. They just... Uh, if I roll, if I roll over, you can't live. hold up. You can't let it go. <laughs> it's if nothing you know, like health-wise they can do about it. Hey, Taj, if, if the first time I'm sleeping at your crib, I roll over and look at you and your joints is here and, and you're not No, out, they're not wide open in. like that, but they don't I'm be telling you now. I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm, be dri- like, I'm, be I'm like driving over. Body. I'm going to be like. That's what I'm saying. I'm driving over Lauren, uh, what's the Lauren Dorfs and all of that. I'm skirting out of this joint because she's tripping over here. Her eyes is here. Yes. You snoring in your eyes here? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, ain't no way you about to sit here and look at me while you sleeping. No. I'm closing them bitches like they do the dead bodies. Here you go. Let me help you Shit. out there. That was funny. All right, come on, Tosh. What you need to do to coexist? I need to know somebody's temperament. That's number one. Number one, number one, number one, number you one. Need to know temperament I need to know before, your temperament. You know, they take daily showers. Yes. I need to know if when I tell you that your ass think if you're going to try to swing <laughs> on me. How how is this conversation gonna go? Why are we stinking in 2023? Like, what are we doing with our hygiene situations? You'd be surprised. You don't go. You don't be in the streets that yeah, much. No, I'm not. But I'm if you saying. hit a day party, it's real easy to get a whiff of a nigga that's been outside all day, sweating, fresh and up. drinking Hennessy. Oh man! So you talking just a little X body spray on? Like he. Ain't... Uh, it's like they don't even care. I feel like niggas just don't be thinking they stink. And I feel like that means you stink all the time. If you don't smell yourself, one of my cousins man, told me, you know, you never say, stink. I'm like, is that a compliment? My cousin told me that before. Like, you know, you never stink. I'm like, is that a compliment or is that like a <laughs> shot? Because I'm not really well, sure. Some people don't have an odor, like at all. Yeah. Yeah. I I need to know your temperament, though. I, hygiene is important, but I need to know your temperament. I need to know how you communicate. 
Mm, I don't know. I feel like I work everything around like knowing, like knowing those things. Okay, so what's some shit that be bothering me now? What do you have like, a low sex drive? Or high? A higher that would be, I believe that is number one on <laughs> list that was a, that's that gonna was be a, number two on my list is that was a or low because in scrabble big... that would be like a six word score joint that you just hit right there. Yeah. <laughs> i can definitely deal with uh i can deal with high but low you gotta get out my you gotta get out we can't live together we can't we, so we can't that's all it's about no but i'm not gonna do it mean, not it not ain't about that being like... all it's about but i'm not gonna deal with that shit i'll tell you what now, if you're unable, maybe we can work something out. We can discuss an arrangement. But nigga, you just don't want to. No, you There's can't no be desire. here with me. You're, you're, you can't be here with me. You're in your fuck, early to mid forties, and you've been doing this since you were fifteen, and you're gonna keep doing it if you fucking with me. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? That's what I'm saying. If you in here talking about, no, I'm good. Like she didn't came out here in a superhero ass? outfit. Yeah. She didn't what? came in here. She didn't lotion down and all that. And now you like, oh no. Freshly waxed. Like, he like, yeah, but, but the pistons is on, you know. DVR broke. So <laughs> <laughs> but the pistons are on. Not pistons is pistons. on, girl. Bro, that now... defense is terrible. <laughs> There's not a lot of shame. No make... defense. It's not a lot that's gonna make me mad, but let me tell you, they can put me in the game. That's gonna that piss me saying, off. Yeah, yeah, if you wish somebody and like they got a low drive, that begins to feel like rejection. Now you like, damn, well, is it me? So then you gotta go do out I test smell? the water. That's do what I'm saying. Now you gotta go out test the waters, do a little <laughs> harmless cheating just to make sure it's not you. you know what I'm saying? A little harmless cheat, exactly. A little harmless cheating, you know. And then you a little just, harmless like, cheat turned into a big old cheat. Yes, All right, now I'm a cheater. <laughs> it's a little harmless. Yeah, a little it's, harmless. It's a little, it's nothing wrong with a little, a little harmless. Cheap, a little practice you know. to make sure that you you still got it. What did my man yeah. Martin say exactly? I had to see if I still had it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I got it. Period. All right, let me see here. For me, <laughs> number one for us to coexist it has to be that the woman understands that I have feelings too. Mm. I may Aww. not be, I may not be, yeah, all and bitching all the goddamn time, but I think shit and feel shit just the way you do. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be like overtly putting it all out there all the time right it's not gonna be i got an attitude well you know you got them type niggas it's nothing worse than a bitch ass dude like but them niggas who like overly emotional and he always got to express himself like you can tell he got raised by his two aunts and his mom but (laughs) we're not talking about them types just women never (laughs) seem to understand that we think and feel shit too you know what i'm saying so let's always keep that in mind the nigga feels shit too yeah. Like you're saying, let's communicate and understand this shit before we even get in this situation. Like your sleeping habits and you need the TV on. Me and my wife, our biggest problem with sleep is she always cold, I'm always hot. Mm. So it's either like I can't sleep through nothing, she can sleep through anything. It could be a Hurricane Katrina and the roof blew off the house. She probably won't wake up. <laughs> That's me. But <laughs> if a piece of paper oh, wow. falls off the <laughs> Piece of paper fall off the dresser. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Now I'm up for the next four hours. Oh, like, hell no. And my shit be bad. I'm sitting there, eyes watering, look like I'm crying, yawning for the last three hours, just in the bed, can't go to sleep. I'm just, I'm woke now. Mm-mm. I can't live like that. That's the torture. Yeah, hygiene like, and I'll shit though, like, since, melatonin right. or something. You need to sleep. Since the hygiene and shit that y'all brought up, like, that is baffling. That grown ass people is out here like needing to be told to take a shower. Funky. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't possibly have cracked on a chick and went like, "What the fuck was that? What does that mean?" <laughs> I think, I'm it, cool. was, I like, think hey. it was B Simone who was like, "I take a shower every two to three days," and I really can't yeah, imagine. Not, do you take a bath taking in between, a shower or? every two to three days? Does she take baths in between? No, no, she's oh, saying yeah, like, yeah, you tipping. She's saying like, okay, let's say I took my shower at like eleven p.m. on Sunday. I may not shower again until Wednesday Tuesday. at six. Oh no, yeah, it's not cool. You, you're a woman, so like, I'm. You I don't know if it's that, if it's Shark Week. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, 
I know you sure. used the bathroom at some point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't I have them can't imagine off on like, Sunday night and it's Tuesday and, morning. What are you doing? And, I mean, once you <laughs> hit that 24-hour mark, it's like, all right. I got to freshen up. I need to do something. I got to start over. <laughs> and don't let you have no, no body hair because that shit holds odor. So you that got works. hair on your armpits and your fucking coochie? <laughs> Yeah, see, I didn't know niggas would really fall like this. Yeah, I wore the see me. I wore the or, same dicky for I wore the same dicky for a winter straight. I didn't stink one time. Drawers was changed and cleaned every day. Like, okay, I'm there, not that kind of guy. I don't understand. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm not, I it's one thing you do walk in some niggas' cribs and be like, cuz it smells like nuts in here. Like, what is going on? <laughs> <Nuts>. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got to take care of like this. a gym lock, like a man's oh, locker room. Like yeah, you got to take like care of this. Huh? My cousin room smell like that. I'd be like, Ew, here, no. <laughs> <laughs> you be Damn. putting her in there? Right. Like, <laughs> open the window. One day she going to be like, it stinks in here. <laughs> See, what you're going to have to do is throw in some plugins when you throw her in the room the next time. <laughs> right. So go plug one of these in. When you plug it, when you, yeah. Here's a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> There's a candle drop. I bought you a candle for Christmas. <laughs> Lady, right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Tell me she this now. Me. What do you think is the hardest thing to accept once you is coexisting with somebody else? Mm, like, mine is like so well, that's sex shit is if it's not right, that's hard. But the I feel like communication is really hard because it's one thing like trying to communicate on a regular, but communicating about every little thing. Like you really start having a, you got to think like you that other person. Like, dang, is this going to hurt their feelings? Or like, I got to talk to them about this or talk to them about that, depending on what they want to know and don't know. You got to be used to it. I would really just say like learning the really, the daily routine, like, and getting and adjusting your routine and them adjusting theirs to make sure that it fits. Because when you used to just getting you and your kid ready for school, and now you got to think about like, oh, this person got in late, or oh, this person is still asleep when I'm getting up. Like when usually you just can stump around the house, blast the radio at 7 a.m. freely, just being considerate of another person. I would say is a really big thing. The hardest thing is to think about we and not me. Because the first thing that we go to is we ain't do that in my house when I like mm-hmm. that's the first thing we always say. And it'd be like, if I'm always trying to do the shit that we did in my house, you try and do the shit that you that went in your house, then we're not doing what's gonna work for our house. Yeah, right. We can't get stuck into like you said, all right, seven o'clock, we blast the radio because me and my daughter, we, right. I'm and trying to get And that's what I up. used to do. Get up in the morning, turn the radio on. But once we get into them situations where we're going to cohabitate, then we got to understand we got to compromise. The whole situation becomes a compromise. Mm-hmm. Like walking my daughter to school, her school used to be like three, four blocks from the house. And while and out, we would do, now you while out. That's how I wake her up in the morning mm-hmm. to get her to wake up to go to school. <clears throat> But if my wife just worked the overnight shift, we can't be doing this. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. You got to be like, all right, look, mommy's tired. And you can't go in the room. And you got to be considerate and thinking about that type of shit. But you can't just be like, oh, well, this is how we did it in my house. And this is what I'm still doing. Because now that nigga ain't got his sleep. Now, when you come tap him on the shoulder and he telling you he and his feelings and going, I don't even want nothing. Now you out here checking your DMs talking about, oh, he just want us on the podcast. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> you brought up a good point about like um like I don't remember what you said exactly, but even just like oh how I grew up versus how you grew up. Mm-hmm. Like we had mm-hmm. a, a I recently, well not recently, a few months ago, it was a debate over the dishwasher. I use the dishwasher. You never use the dishwasher. You ain't ha- grow up with a dishwasher. And you wouldn't even think that something like that would even be a conversation, but it's just like, oh, I went to where the forks, they in the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you just didn't wash them because we have a dishwasher. Because I use the dishwasher. I had a dishwasher until I was 25. When I moved out of my house, the first apartment had a dishwasher. When I moved into like me and my cousin left the bachelor pad 
and I walked in this joint. I'm like, damn, dishwasher in this bitch. <laughs> Who gonna wash these dishes? Because it damn sure ain't me. And I said this a couple of weeks ago on the podcast. If my wife, this is before she was my wife, but if she wasn't over for three, four days, man, them forks was in that sink. Oh hell like, no. I'm not handling these. I can't win this contest. I hate doing the dishes. You I will supply you with forks all and plastic plates. I mean, uh, that's what I'm saying. And that's how I start just look. I ain't having no company. I could drink this orange juice straight out the container. I don't need no cups. <laughs> I don't need to buy no forks. I don't need to buy no plates because I'm not using none of that shit. I'm not cleaning nothing. Only thing I'm cleaning is the pan that I just fried, whatever in. Like, other than that, that shit going to be in the sink. Like, I, I can't do this shit. I'll hate that shit for a week before I clean them dishes. Or right. even with like cooking, like, I clean as I go. Tashi does do not. If we live together, we need separate kitchens. <laughs> or we can't look when the other person's cooking. Like, don't come in here until I'm done. Because the but, kitchen be a wreck when I'm in there. And then so I that's, another jo- that's another one. That I don't want to clean though. nothing up once I'm done eating. I don't like, want to clean the whole time I'm cooking. What, once I'm eating, like, okay, that should be the only thing dirty. Well, I feel like I want to sit clean and relax and enjoy my while food. While the food is actually cooking. Like, that's when I'm ready to clean. But not like, oh, like, if you sat down, if you sat down and start eating that plate, you ain't getting back up to clean nothing. I will. So and I'm not, unless it's like much later. I know I'm not. I fell asleep, and then the next morning was like, oh shit. Usually, I forgot to put the food up. If I gotta like bake something or fry something or air fry it, or it's like whenever it's cooking, that's when I do dishes. Mm-mm. Yeah, you got. Or I wait mouth. till it's done. It's cooling off right now. Tell me I this. Is this, I could be doing is this. this something that would make y'all mad? Because I'm picky as hell. So if my wife makes something, she'd be like, if you ask me, did you like it? You just opened the door for me to answer this question, honestly. Now, my mom can cook damn near any and everything. So it'd be like, well, actually, that was a little too salty. And because I know how to cook. So I'll be like, this is how much you should put in there. Or this is way too much. This is not enough. Like, would you be offended by that? I wouldn't be offended, but if it's all the time, I'm going to be like, all right, cook your own food, nigga. Like, I feel like if it's a criticism for every single thing, but you can also, ladies, stay in your lane. If you never made lamb chops, Maybe cook them lamb chops yourself first. Do a little test run. That's what I do. Little taste <laughs> test. Or ask somebody who has cooked it, like, hey, how do you cook this? Go on TikTok. I literally been looking at the same recipe for some parmesan crusted chicken. Look up a recipe. Damn, don't be out here shit. just <laughs> don't be out here just cooking shit and you don't have a clue. But what the fuck are you doing? And then be mad if a nigga be like, I didn't really care for it. See, my thing would be like this, because like I said, I'm I'm honest about the picky shit. So if I know you don't know how to make it, like you just said, lamb chops, we going to run through this together the first time mm-hmm. so that I can show you this is how I like it. Because if you just making it copy, if we just, you know, we just talking and I'm just sliding over for, you know, we really, we know we really came here for one of these lamb chops. Like, oh, all right, I can suffer Another through two chop. of these. Yeah. <laughs> I could suffer through two of these that I didn't really like. <laughs> but um, if, like, you're going to be here every day, then it's like, oh, no, well, like, actually, we put paprika on the shit <laughs> the way that I like it. And that's my thing. You're not about to be complaining about my cooking and you don't cook. You're not going to complain about my cooking and your ass don't cook and you're not going to complain yeah, yeah, about see, every meal. Is it complaining but that's why I said. Don't, genuinely don't like well, it? Well, I feel like if you ask about it, if, then you yeah, open the door. If you, Because remember when that nigga I was talking to wanted me to make that fucking fried chicken? Yes. And I don't cook. Stay in your lane. I don't cook fried chicken. That was my point. I'm not frying no motherfucking chicken. And that nigga complained about the chicken. Bitch! And to me, I'm like, oh. The but I know. Nice. But See, that, <laughs> right. the problem there is, like I said, you ask me. If you don't ask me, I'm not just going to come in criticizing ask. for the sake of criticizing <laughs> because yeah. we got we to gotta understand when you're in these situations, if we pick at every little thing, all we're going to do is argue. Mm-hmm. And well, the person I said this. Luckily, like I have a nigga that ain't picky. But you, I mean, you can tell if you're cooking for somebody if they like it or not. Like, you can 
you can tell. My nigga love everything I make. <sighs> so every time I cook something, but luckily when feet. when it comes down to like foods, we kind of have similar tastes. So it's mm-hmm. nothing that's really, if anything, that's I, important too. If anything, I make stuff food. that he wouldn't have thought to make and he'd be like oh this was good Mm -hmm. but for the most part all y'all niggas be wanting this chicken for real i feel like dietary needs are important too because people be so vegetarians and vegans some niggas be wanting fried chicken every day me and my dude not eating no fried the dude i'm with don't even eat chicken or beef or none of that shit so we eating fish and what if i Uh, like fish i can't deal with my house smelling like fish every day and i don't even like fish that's why you gotta put lemon juice in it. You know what I'm saying, let's kill that fish. That make it smell, not smell. Just yes, like low lemon juice I mean, in the water. I'm saying if I didn't like, it, I don't care because low lemon like, juice in the water. I mean, if you're doing a salmon, a little orange on the top of him, citrus will kill all of that. You know what I'm saying that's what I said. I know how to cook. So that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that I'll up. Come I don't in. cook the fish around here. Yeah, I'll give the I'll, I'll give the you can, uh, like boil a lemon or boil an orange. And that'll cut the smell. Hmm. Well, I said you need that citrus on that fish. You know what I'm saying? You don't want I that fishy ass. This fish? I'm, I'm, not, just light a candle. I'm not cooking it. Bad so. <laughs> somebody I'm where a candle will cut, take all of that funk out. I'm going to just light a candle. That's fucked up. <laughs> I just show up and I ask for my plate the same way that he do when it's time for me to cook. See, that's another thing. Don't make my plate. I'm picky. Like mm-hmm. I said. I don't like making plates. I, I listen tell people all the I time. I feel like it comes with I time though. Plates. Like you, over time, like you you know what your nigga like, and that nigga gonna know what you like. Yeah, but I, I, I might just not don't know how I might feel that day. What yeah, about like that, that copy. Hey Touch, I'm not Did I'm I'm eating today. I'm hungry. Like yeah. you gave me, Let me make you gave me two, shit. you gave me two wings. What is this? I'm hungry. Or yeah, I might not want that much, or I might, I yeah, might want, I don't really want that much today. I don't I really feel. like this shit that you just made. This <laughs> goes back to communication. Well, how much food do you want? Or I'll be like, come in here and yeah. tell me what you want on your plate. I can just do it at that point. You can feel like that. I, I, that's just not I, a thing for me. Like, I make everyone's plate. If you're in my house, I'm more than likely gonna make you a plate. I'm not. So I'm gonna be like, food's done. You make my plate all. Plates are right here and a drink. I make your plate. That's a lie. I make your plate, plate my because, plate because you make my plate. Well, maybe y'all niggas need to start making plates. Why? Why not? Well, we do it works just you fine. Because you and make what, my plate. And what I do for you works just fine for us. <laughs> I will always make your plate. I make, always I make, make the plate. kids' only, plate. But I ask them, like, do you want this? Do you want that? Yes. The only way I'm making plates is one is the kids. Or we at one of my family situations. Yeah. Cause then it's, it's like it's a certain you, way that, that the food is supposed to be too. If it's like a like a, a meal that like shit is supposed to be a certain way, I can understand you making plates then. Like now I would say at a if it's a large family function, I feel like you can make your own plate. If it's a well, bunch of different it, it foods, depends on it depends right. on what's the That's family what I'm function. Thinking, like, these my plate. cousins that you know. Like you got three of they four. If it's Thanksgiving, right. you can make your own cool. plate. It's too much food. Yeah, I don't know what you picking want. and choosing. I mean, honestly, no, I do have an idea of what you want. If I'm being honest, but Thanksgiving you, though is not going to be at. We're not going to the, the cousin that you don't really know crib or nothing. If we're going to somewhere, like I said, if it's your cousins, your mom, and then I know them. All right, yeah, I can make my own plate. But we over here, these niggas, I don't really know them like that. Oh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. give me two. Give me another scoop of this. Because I'm going to do the same thing for you because I don't, like, you don't want to be all over here in any of these niggas' shit. You don't really know them like that. I mean, if everybody making their own plate, I still got to make your plate. Like, you, you can't get in line behind me. So, all they right, this is, all, this, is, this is always a joint, too, now. Me and you together and Tachi say, oh, Hank, you want me to make your plate? You got a problem with that? Nope. Can you make mine too? <laughs> I make you got two plate. hands. <laughs> sure. Let me catch a nigga making my wife a plate. Parties over. If it was her, I wouldn't care. I if it's some bitch I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's the situation <laughs> I haven't been in. I haven't really been in a large setting party where I've had to make a plate. So I don't I don't really know. 
That's what I'm saying. Cause did you just offer my wife a plate? Like, all right, just I copy. Feel like me. On Thanksgiving. Nigga, you want to fight? I feel yeah. like it's every man for themselves on Thanksgiving. Like, I'm hungry too. Especially if you got kids and you trying to. Luckily, my kid is I old feel like enough. That too. My kid is old enough to get her own food, but if we have smaller kids, like I gotta get everybody plate, I gotta get in line three times. Nah, I'm exhausted. You, you getting your waitress bag hungry. and you got three joints down your arm. <laughs> like, no. um, yeah. All right, now, um, ladies, what up, though? I know y'all was just on a break. You coming back? Whoa! Look at the looks that y'all just gave me. What was that? There was no, there was no enthusiasm in the "we're coming back" right there. As soon as I said "we're coming back," y'all both looked like, "Oh fuck, we are." We're coming back in our own fashion. And what does that mean for the new listeners who have not heard from the ladies of the "What Up Though" podcast? It's a hundred and six episodes. <laughs> y'all niggas can listen to while we get our while we together. figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I tell so you, sure. listen to all 106. If y'all want some suggestions, y'all can DM us on which episodes are the best ones to listen to. God I damn, you want me to tap into today. all 106? What if I only made it to 104? God damn, you don't care about my opinion. <laughs> I said, guess yo, you missed, we care about your miss, opinion, Hank. He said, "Yo, you missed episode fifty-eight. I ain't fucking with you." <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what episode fifty-eight was. What do you mean you haven't seen fifty-eight? But no, we we worked really hard last year, and we had a lot of shit happen last year, like in our personal lives, and you know. We just we just taking it slow. We we jumping in We're to what's not best. To burn ourselves out. So when we be like, for a prime example, today when we did them two episodes earlier, and I was like, I don't want to record two episodes, <laughs> two I'm more. Tired. And she was like, Yeah, me neither. Like we're very. Do See you want to do it? See no, you don't want to do it. Right if I don't want to do it, she's fine. If she don't want to do it, I'm fine. So. We're just, we're rebranding. We're figuring it out. And we're trying to be a better team in every aspect. So we're going off the feel, off the vibes of everything. We usually pretty- are we Are we doing another live show this year? Is that the goal? We haven't talked about it, but yes. Yes. In, uh, a, annual, in a perfect world, absolutely. An annual live show, perhaps. Copy that. There we go. Give the people okay. something to look forward to. As long as we don't try to schedule it for anniversary weekend, like y'all did last year, because then Jess going to tell me, Detroit is lovely this time of year. It <laughs> is. It's the best time you should travel, but mm-hmm. your wife, y'all just got to make a trip out of it. Mm-hmm. It was our anniversary. I don't think that one was going to swing. Yeah, not that weekend. Not that weekend. We'll do another yeah, one. Yeah, like, so many. That wasn't even I our original all date. all the though. date night yeah. spots in july like i i mean in the we summer, can double date y'all but can double date who can double date i'm talking about you and that. you and me and then oh i see i'm like i thought you were saying with that man girl. then you just invited no, some niggas. So, she, she's so crazy <laughs> she just told you about how she wasn't cohabitating with the nigga and his drive was low and she did a little harmless cheating oh that's and not my name yeah. <laughs> no one said that they did that you said that <laughs> We're not talking about real cheating. <laughs> Harmless cheating isn't the same I, thing as real I cheating. don't I do not cheat. <laughs> black women don't cheat. You know, cheat. black men don't cheat, so you know, mm-hmm. I don't know about the women, mm-hmm. but black men don't cheat. That's a that is a statement. Black niggas do. <laughs> I said black Fuck. men. I didn't say anything about the niggas in the back. I said I know men. some niggas. <laughs> I know some niggas my damn so. Idiots, they were like, it's not just black men don't cheat. It's black men don't cheat. I'm like, black men, comma, don't, don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. All right, this black is something women we talked Because you said you were cheating. Black. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, man, I almost slipped up. I saw that nigga. That <laughs> um, <laughs> this is something we talked about. Uh, all, this is something we talked about off mic, but we about to bring it up now because we're going to do this. Uh, give people a sneak peek as we talked about we're going to do the um, how to do a live show and we're going to mm. turn it into a show that you can purchase you know what I'm saying you DM us at what up though pod or at I am hype and we can get you that episode once we do it we'll let you know we'll have it all out there for you. 
Give us, give me one thing that y'all learned about doing the live show that you take into the next time. Like this was the learning experience. I didn't know this that I needed to know that'll help me out for the mm-hmm. second show. Um, Just one. I, we don't want to give everybody the whole clip right here. You know what I'm saying? Make it interactive. Don't sit and think you gonna sit in front of talk. these people yeah. and talk and have them listen to you as if they're streaming on Apple Music. Make do, it an experience. Do, making an experience in an event, something that they've never been to before, and that is making them a part of the show. That's the whole point. It's a live show. We want y'all to interact. We want you to have fun. We want you to tell your friends, like, hey, I went to this live show. You got to come next time. The more involved of the audience, the better. Make it so that you're not doing nothing but passing the mic. <laughs> right. Make it so that they are having their own experience. At least that's what worked out for us. Um, mine would be to keep a backup. Keep a backup. Well, for you, you might not need all this. For us, we needed a backup makeup artist, backup oh, photographer. I didn't, need, I didn't need a makeup artist. I was good. I know. <laughs> we needed a backup hairstylist. <laughs> then we need we a need, hair. We I didn't need it, but we need to have yes on hand a backup backup photographer, backup DJ, backup everything. A plan B. Have a plan B because whatever because shit possibly, can go left the quick. day of, and you just be like, uh, what the fuck? Because we were almost SOL with the makeup. Mine would be shit gonna go wrong, and you just gotta be quick on your feet when it do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. you can't let whatever the fire is. You can't let it turn into an inferno where now it's just fucking everything up. Mm-hmm. You see that the fire is starting, just start throwing throw a little water on it, move on. Yep. You could dwell on that shit tomorrow, tonight after the show. Don't get caught up in that one thing. And shit. Tomorrow, is when going, you think about wrong. it, you're gonna be like, damn, we pushed through that and kept going. Exactly. And that would be the thing that I just shit gonna go wrong, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. But don't let it be everything. You just got to keep right. focusing on the reason we came here so that I can do this show to entertain these people and thank you for buying these fucking tickets. That's mm-hmm. the whole situation. Mm-hmm. So, all right, that was the ladies of the What Up Dope podcast. Y'all throw out your handles real quick. Are the DMs wide open? Are they closed? Like, what's the situation? It depends. <laughs> Slide and you'll see. <laughs> Copy that. Me. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Go ahead. You might be on my Shooter. list, but when they, when they become open, I, rem- I remember hey. you. And one thing I always say, man, shoot or shoot, I can't take any of this with me. So back when I was in the, you know, in the gym, I would let them all go. Um, yep. That was the Ladies of the What Up Though podcast. Shouts out to my girls. That's episode 95 of the Hot Hustle podcast. With Hype. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.